Beer, please. What kind? Any kind. They're all the same to me. I just need something to quench my thirst. Cheers. <laughs> Did you see that ball game today? No, I didn't. One of the greatest ball games I've ever seen. Seen. Real exciting. Of course, for my money, the Yankees got the best in the whole world. <laughs> What's the matter with you? Don't you like baseball? Uh, yes, I do. Well, you just watch yourself, Buster. <laughs> baseball is uh, America's national game. And if you... I don't feel so good. <laughs> Excuse me. Pardon me, sir. <laughs> Sip of beer? <laughs> oh, I think you're fine, huh? Sorry, I don't know how that happened. Uh, Joe! <laughs> Do not concern yourself. Uh, could I get you something? I have what you have. Uh, two, Joe. Let me be honest. I am glad it happened. Glad? I wanted to talk to you, but I did not know how to um, commence. Oh. Oh. Mm. I am not long in this country, and uh, I did not know what is, uh, how you say it, um, proper. Oh, I see. I live by impulse. I, I see someone, and I desire to uh, talk to them. To know them. You understand? I guess so. Well, that could cause problems sometimes. <laughs> sometimes, but uh, life is for living, no? No. I mean, yes. I just look at you, and I know I like you. How can you tell? Faces with character attract me. <laughs> I would like to do your head. I beg your pardon? I am sculptress. Your head, it excites me. I put the drinks down, Joe. I love your face. It has strength, individuality. Ah, it is a face that has experienced love. Sorrow. Life. Yes? I mean... Yes. But mainly it is a man's face. It is a face that exudes, uh, oh, how you say, uh, sex appeal. Uh, th that's how we say it. Put the drinks down, Joe. <laughs> I am very direct person. Um, I am sorry. I have embarrassed you? Oh, no, no, not at all. But, um, you see, Miss, um... Michelle. Uh, Michelle, uh, you're new around here. Uh, you probably don't know too many people. You're probably lonely. Oh, no, no, uh, I, I am not lonely. I meet many men. Uh, but how you say it, um, nothing. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it's very dull. Who wants just another pretty head? <laughs> I see. Oh, uh, my studio is quite near. We go and get to know one another, yes? <laughs> the face is important, yes, but more important behind the face. Well, I'm very flattered, but I'm afraid I can't. You have wife, no? <laughs> yes. But she does not understand you. Why do you say that? You drink alone at bar? Well, she understands me uh, most of the time. There is no room in your life for two women? Answer her, Darren. <laughs> no. What would you like to know? The deal on the I.J. Fentress Cement Company. <laughs> There, dear. Thank you. Well? Hmm? 
He's a crook, all right. Mother, would you mind getting the fire on the gas main? It was handled by the Osterhout Pipe Company. O or P? <laughs> oh. Uh. Oh, there you are. Well? <laughs> you were right, Mother. According to these records, Darren and Mr. Wright pounced on Mr. Cavanaugh at the only time he was honest in his whole life. Oh, that husband of yours is a Lulu. <laughs> Mother. <laughs> well, anyway, you know it's funny, isn't it? <laughs> Shall we go? I think we're better. And thanks for your help, Mother. Then am I not going to? Oh, there's a simple way to handle this. But Donald wouldn't approve. On the other hand, what he doesn't know won't hurt him. <laughs> Good evening. I'm Ivan Kravitz, your civil defense block one. Good evening, Mr. Kravitz. Good evening, Mr. Stevens. You may not have to evacuate your house yet, but if I were you, I would keep my radio on KXIW and keep some warm clothes in a rubber life raft near the front door. Rubber life raft? Yeah, don't you have one? No, what do we need a rubber life raft for? Well, a large water main burst at the corner of Elm and Forest. It flooded most of the neighborhood. They say it's under control, but I like to be prepared for the worst. <laughs> Water main? Yeah, the whole storm drain collapsed. Well, if you'll excuse me, I've got a few more houses to go to. Good night, Mr. Stevens. Good night, Mr. Stevens. Good night, Mr. Kravitz. Flood, isn't that amazing? The length that some people will go to just to win an argument. <laughs> what do you mean? How'd you do it? Just what are you inferring? Are you going to stand there and tell me you're not responsible for twitching up this flood? Yes, I am. Well, that drain didn't burst by itself. Good evening. <laughs> Mother, you'll have to excuse us. We're having a fight. Right about. Doesn't concern you, Andorra. Oh, I'm not so sure about that. Have you heard about the flood? <laughs> you Mother. mean it was you? I'd certainly like to know who else. <laughs> well, what did you do that for? You've been raving at my daughter. <laughs> And everyone else has been perfectly miserable because a water main hasn't burst. So, I just thought I'd burst one. What good is that going to do? Well, it should prove that Mr. Sedgwick was wrong. And they'll probably reopen the investigation and examine all of Mr. Kavanaugh's past dealings. That is utter nonsense. Hello. Yes, Ed. Are you serious? Yes. Goodbye, Ed. What'd he say? Well, Sedgwick called Ed and said that he was wrong, and they'll probably reopen the investigation and examine all of Mr. Kavanaugh's past dealings. Isn't that what I said? Yes, Mother. Isn't that what he wanted? Yes, Mother. Well, what's he so unhappy about? <laughs> you wouldn't understand, Mother. I don't know. It's just a... I don't know. It's all pretty mysterious. I suppose I should stop fighting it. But... I don't know. 